Hi, I'm Levi Green with HammerFab. Today I'm going to be giving you a short demonstration on how to use the Bailey Industrial Electromagnetic Sheet Metal Brake. It's got some unique capabilities compared to a standard sheet metal brake. It doesn't have the clamps on top, it doesn't have the, the uh, clamping fence or whatever you call it on top that gets in the way of your material coming back around. It also doesn't limit you on the length of the material. This particular machine is a 48 inch length, which is a, well, that's what it's capable of bending. It's actually a couple inches longer, but um, that's the standard width for most sheet metal. Um, obviously, you can get a different width in whatever size you want. Um, but today, we started with a 48 inch by 12 foot long sheet of sheet metal. I sheared it at another facility, and I brought the pieces here um, where I can bend them. Um, this machine is capable of bending 16 gauge mild steel at 48 inch length. Um, that's pretty impressive for an electromagnetic sheet metal brake. And like I said, they do, they do offer a longer one. Um, one of the neat things about this particular kind of sheet metal brake is if you want to make like custom bed sides for your truck with the, with the rolled edge, it looks like a tube. You know, a lot of guys try and make bedsides and they'll weld the tube on the edge of a flat piece of sheet metal to replicate that look. Well, with this particular style of sheet metal brake, you can make your own bedsides all in one piece with that little curl. Um, this is a piece of 24 gauge galvanized steel. Um, it's pretty thin and this, this machine is capable of doing quite a bit thicker than that. Almost twice as thick. Um, but today we're going to show you how to bend this up. And, and this particular shape that I'm going to be bending is a pretty simple bend. It could be done on a standard sheet metal brake. Um, there's no clearance issues or anything like that. Uh, but we're, so you line up your marks. And then you grab this. Uh, it has dials on the ends. And that's... For your, for your offset. There's a little groove that this sets in right there and then you can dial in, fine tune adjust where you want it to clamp down right under the line so you get a perfect bend every time. We've got to turn the machine on. This one runs on 220 volt. Um, it's got a foot pedal to help to actuate the power. First we've got to turn on the main switch and then to activate the electricity. Don't get your fingers in there. It will pinch them. I'm going to hit the foot pedal. Bam, clamps it down, and now when you start bending it, it'll lock down even more. Hear that click? And now I've got a stop built in right here, which also comes with the machine. So I've got set, it's got a little Allen head screw that you tighten down. It's actually got all the degrees here for your main Allen screw here. And just kind of let that free float. And then I'm going to bend it as far as I can. That's it right there. Here the machine shut off. And then, but what I've done is I've scooted my material back just a little bit. It's underneath here. And I've set the clamping device on top of that. I've got it bent all as far as I can go, but I want, I want it to bend all the way to make a complete hemmed edge that whole length. So let's see if it'll clamp it down on its own. Uh, the machine is on. Here we go. The force was not quite enough because of the air gap in between the two pieces of metal. So I'm going to try something different. I've got my piece of sheet metal here with it bent as far as I could get it with, with the clamping device in the way. Now I've removed the clamping device and I've just got the sheet metal sitting there. The machine is on and I'm going to hit this foot pedal and, and see if I can get it to bend all the way around. It does lock it down pretty good it seems like. You can kind of, you can kind of tap it and adjust it. Now it locks it down even more. Oh, scooting it a little, but that's alright. It's doing the job. Stop button. And retry the clamping mechanism. Clamping ball. Yep, 
impressive. Just give it a little bit of a jerk with this, and the power comes on big time. And it squeezed our flames down. And I think you can do this and squish her down. Oh yeah! Man, that made a nice hem ditch. 48 inch length hemmed edge, a 24 gauge, all at once. So I've just laid it uh, back under the clamping device like normal. Um, got my marks lined up, got my adjustment dials where I want them. Power's turned on, pedals kicked down. And I reset my stop to 92 degrees because sometimes if you just go to 90, the metal springs back. So I've set it a little bit steeper so that it ends up perfectly 90 degrees. Bam. When I'm looking to purchase sheet metal equipment, I want to get the right thing the first time. And a lot of times with a sheet metal brake, um, there's some cheaper versions out there that just don't bend real true the whole length. As you can see right here on this uh, Bailey electromagnetic sheet metal brake, I want to show you this this line here. I've got my sheet metal bent up 90 degrees, and as you can tell, it does not bow through the middle like so many sheet metal brakes do. A lot of times, that's because the upper clamping device isn't built strong enough and it flexes. With this electromagnetic one, it's clamping the entire surface the same amount. Um, even though there's not as big of a clamping bar on top. As you can tell, the results yeah, are... these dials on the end, and I told you they were spring-loaded. If you can tell here, see how this is kind of floating? Well, if I push on it, that's, what, that's how it allows it to clamp down. So when you release the electromagnetic force, those springs automatically pop your piece up, and you can slide this in and out without your clamping bar moving. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm moving on to my next line which is three quarters of an inch from the first bend. I'll line it up there. Line it up here. Double check, triple check. Okay, the marks are lined up. Machine's on, hit the foot pedal. And I've got my thing, my stop set at 92 degrees. And I'm just gonna got our hand edge here. First bend, second bend. I'm gonna do the same down. piece straight through without any tossing. Go through. Well, there it is, the Bailey BB4816M electronic sheet metal brake. You can find this bad boy at baileyindustrial.com. Also, check me out on your products at hammerfab.com. Thanks for watching.